so we were uh, almost done like your smelting is done your elect uh, your process of obtaining blister copper is also done now let us come back and see the refining of copper so basically refining of copper which we have got as a blister copper that is 99% pure we are going to further purify it and get the metallic copper which we are uh, like which there is a main aim of extracting copper isn't it so refining of copper is studied under two headings one is your polling method and electro refining suppose if the, the definition of polling is asked if they ask you what is polling just write the definition it is polling is a process of converting metal oxide metal oxide into metal using green wood logs okay what does what does it mean right. green wood logs now basically earlier uh, when the electrolytic refining method was not used they used to pick up this copper oxide whatever we have got in earlier uh, this uh, process they would uh, uh, they used to take this copper oxide and uh, they going to introduce or they going to sprinkle some carbon powder on that so what is the use of carbon powder it acts as a reducing agent now they after uh, uh, sprinkling copper powder on that they used to collect the green uh, trees or green wood right so the sap whatever is there inside that green wood right they are going to take that green uh, recent trees and place it on the wooden logs right so once this is placed on the wooden logs and this particular metal ore also with the carbon powder they used to pl place it on that wooden uh, log and finally when this started heating or combusting right so the high the particular sap i said it is acting as a reducing agent now we very well know when they combust they're going to release hydrocarbons from that that hydrocarbon is going to reduce the copper oxide into copper so once again simple polling is a process of converting metal oxide copper oxide to metal using green wood logs now sir, nothing to write in the exam write the definition and just write hydrocarbons released from green wood logs reduces copper oxide to metallic copper that's it. So, when you are writing this story or something, it is understood that you have understood the concept. Done. So, after this particular thing, uh, and you can also write, um, which, which one you will write? Here, ore is covered with, covered with carbon powder. This is important because this also acts as a reducing agent. Done. Right. Now, let, this is your polling process because they are placed in your placed on the wooden logs and poles, you know, that is why it's called as polling. When we come back to electro refining, most important thing in electro refining process, as I said, you have three things anode, you have to speak in terms of anode, you have to speak in terms of cathode, and you have to speak in terms of electrolyte. Correct? Yes. Here the anode which you are going to take always as I have shown in the earlier video also for zinc. Right? Anode is always impure metal. Impure metal acts as anode. So now this is your anode. Correct? So anode positive and your cathode negative. The impure metal acts as anode and your cathode, the pure metal acts as cathode. Now, the electrolyte, pure metal. Okay, I'm sorry, pure metal. So, and the electrolyte which I'm going to take here. Yes, and I'm going to take an electrolyte here. That is your copper sulfate. The electrolyte, the same salt you will be taking. So, that, you know, exchange of ions is also easy. So, the electrolyte which I'm going to take is a solution of copper sulfate. Right? We very well know in the earlier zinc, I added sulfuric acid for increasing the conductivity of the whole solution. Yes. Now, <clears throat> after taking this copper sulfate, when the electrolysis process occurs, we very well know electrons move from anode to cathode, isn't it? Yes. Now, with this particular copper sulfate, which is here, yes. Now, the pure metal, as in when the electrolysis process occurs, the pure metal goes and settles. That's done. Now, during this process, I said this is the impure metal, and once the process whole process is complete, the whole impurities, whatever are there, they come and settle down, and this becomes thinner and thinner, and this becomes thicker and thicker. Okay, so the impurities which come and settle here, this is like this, isn't it? The impurities which come and settle here include 
tin, selenium, tellurium, silver, gold and platinum. The trace amounts are collected because they are collected below the anode. It is called anode mud. Anode mud. So, anode mud contains tin, selenium, tellurium, silver, gold and platinum traces. Yes, all the impurities on this side and the pure electrode or cathode, uh, you will have the pure metal which can be scraped off and used it for further use. 